Okay, so next up, let's talk about my dumpling obsession. Like literally, I love dumplings, like the food. My cat is called Dumpling and I also love these dumplings. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to our annual handbag collection video. <laughs> so I cannot believe that literally a year ago when I did my first ever handbag collection video we just reached 5k and I was over the moon and now just a year later we reached 25,000 subscribers so I, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. You, you, I cannot even describe to you how I feel. I would have never thought you know that that's possible in the span of a year. Okay, let's get right into it, right? Because like, if you could only see the chaos and the mess that is in front of me and behind me, <laughs> I was trying to get all the bags somehow on the bed so that I can reach them easily. I would say, let's just start, cause that's what we're all here for, right? And this is in no particular order. So I'm just gonna, you know, grab what I think I wanna talk about next. Okay guys, so let's start with this one though. This was my first ever luxury handbag. This is the Louis Vuitton Mirada in the beautiful amarante vernis leather it's a little bit dusty <laughs> um, and yeah so uh, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna show you modeling shots for each and every single one of these bags simply because I haven't done that last year and I think a lot of people actually ask for it because then it's of course always you know a little bit easier to imagine um, and yeah that's what we're gonna do for every single bag so it was actually a lot of work to get all that footage I hope you enjoy it as well and yeah so let's look at the close-up shot so can you see this beautiful color i mean we all know i'm a sucker for pink and purple and this is such a beautiful dark eggplant aubergine um purple and actually so i i think in certain lights it looks black it's really difficult but there you get the idea in certain lights i mean the ring light is now full on <laughs> you know shining onto me in the back but in certain lights it almost looks black so this baby actually is my louis vuitton pasadena bag and this is the only other louis vuitton vernis bag i mean i am a sucker for patent leather as well all of you who follow me for have been following me for a while you know that i love everything patent it's so easy to take care of you know you can take it i live in london you can take it out in the rain nothing happens to it you know you can easily wipe it off and you know don't get scratches don't get marks it is the most worry free leather i don't know how it is actually if we would talk about patent leather or vanille leather in like light colors because I know a lot of people have been complaining about color transfer so that's something you have to keep in mind but what a beauty right so next one let's look at this one this one is actually my favorite bag I think of all the bags I have I mean please bags don't listen to what I'm saying right now um, it is so so gorgeous and I you know this is a masterpiece it is art if you ask me um, this is the Gucci brooch bag and you know I've been wearing it to so many fashion week events um, here in London in the past before you know <laughs> the world changed <laughs> um, and it is the most gorgeous piece and people you know see you ac from across the room and they will come to you and ask you more about this bag so it actually comes with the most gorgeous strap you have ever seen um, from afar maybe you know you wouldn't really notice the beauty of it but let me show you people oh and for anybody who's interested you know of how the bag looks like from the inside it is this beautiful beige microfiber lining the strap is actually detachable um, just in case you're wondering okay let's get some close-up shots of this baby so can you see the ruby eyes of this fox um, and there we have the little Gucci bee um, that actually comes with little crystals um, as well and yeah so this strap let's talk about this absolutely gorgeous strap how do I show this best to you I hope we can see it it is so detailed, it is so, so gorgeous. I think it makes the bag look extra special. And it's actually quite comfortable. You might not think that it is low. Okay, so this is the Bulgari Serpenti Forever in the medium size. Um, I think they're actually thinking of discontinuing the size, which really, really shocked me. So if you might still wanna get this, you know, run to the boutique now. And um, yeah, I think they're changing the design of it. It, it actually looks a lot different. Um, the new version. So this is such a beautiful pink. 
right? And I love wearing this, especially with this cream dress that I did all the modeling shots with. It is just so, so gorgeous, you know? And I always say the camera doesn't really pick up on the actual beauty of the color of this bag. Um, but yeah, what can I tell you? And let's have a look at the hat. What can I tell you? It is absolutely gorgeous. This is the classic um, Bulgari Serpenti Forever um, class that comes with the malachite eyes. And of course we have this beautiful strap. And maybe that's helpful in size comparison again. This is my Bulgari Serpenti Forever in the small size. And I actually love both of them so much. Again, you can see they're both in patent leather simply because I love it and it is so... I mean, this is a light color, right? This would qualify as a light color. And to be honest, um, I've never had any any problems with color transfer either. So, you know, I've been wearing this actually quite a lot. And like, you know, like most of my wardrobe is black. 80% of my wardrobe is black, actually. And yeah, so same. We have the little Serpenti Forever class with the Malachite eyes. You know, simply gorgeous. Every Bulgari bag comes with its own raincoat and like a little mirror. So that's always a really, really nice touch. And yeah, this is two of my Bulgari babies. Are we ready for some Chanel? Okay guys, so... Hello. <laughs> this is the um, Chanel Gabrielle in the old medium size. The original medium Chanel Gabrielle. Uh, and this beauty, let me tell you, it is such a showstopper. When you put it on, I personally absolutely love wearing it with a V, v strap, you know. It's beautiful on the shoulder, no matter what, you know. You can even wear it as a clutch, to be honest. But it is so, so gorgeous with a V strap. And I love it so, so much. Um, so, yeah, let me... This is a special edition, of course. This is a limited edition. The leather is just absolutely gorgeous. I just love black and gold. We know that, right? So love this baby. Hello. Most of you know this one. This is what I like to refer to as my Chanel princess bag, my princess baby. So it is this beautiful satin material uh, in the color Rose Sakura. And you know, it's a single flap, it's a seasonal piece, so there's no back pocket. It's a single flap, which means, you know, you've got a lot of space in your bag, which is amazing. We love ourselves a single flap back, right? Um, so yeah, gorgeous piece. This is definitely the princess of princesses. You know, if we talk about bags, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I, I love it. It's such a special piece. Like people will see it from afar as well and talk to you about it and like, oh, can I still get that? No, probably, probably only on the pre-love market if you're lucky. Um, I had so, so many people asking me for it. Oh, actually, I'm just noticing. There's a teeny tiny little bit of, whoops, teeny tiny little bit of color transfer on the strap actually, because the strap is a leather strap, if you can see that. Um, it's a leather strap. So the only leather bits of this bag are the strap and the inside. This is leather as well. Um, yeah, this is my baby. Okay, next one. This is my Gabrielle backpack. So here we had my classic Chanel Gabrielle bag and this is the Chanel Gabrielle backpack. Okay guys, so this bag is, I always say it and it surprises me, it surprises me every single time as well. This is my most used bag. Like I've, I think I don't have a single bag that I've used more than this one in my entire life. <laughs> I don't know why, I mean it has like the mixture of like the, the, the gold and the silver hardware, right? And it is absolutely stunning. It's such a casual but still chic kind of a look. Uh, it's so easy, you know, you can just grab it and go. It has a big like scratch right here at the front. Somebody was actually bumping into me with their pizza box in New York. Yeah, they were walking behind me. I was wearing it as a proper backpack and boof, you know, first big mark. It was hurting at the time. <laughs> uh, quite painful. Um, but yeah, I, I put a little bit of shoe cream on it so you can barely see it now, but it's there. Um, I've been wearing this to death. I mean, for the fact that I've been wearing it so, so, so much, it's still in pretty good shape, right? Um, it's so, so easy to go and I just love it. It's comfortable. That's what it's all about when you get older. <laughs> 
So, you know, I love it. Yes, hello. This is my stunning, stunning Chanel Metidia piece from 2019. I think everybody at the time was really, really trying to get their hands on this beauty. And I was one of them. I was queuing up for this for like seven hours. And I got one in the end. It was quite a tough day. <laughs> so yeah, let's look at this. Here we have... So this is mock croc for anybody who wonders. This is not real croc. Chanel stopped making exotic skin bags that year. And this is their first mock croc version. And it has this beautiful contrast black leather on the inside. It's a classic mini. It's a classic mini, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, what a beauty, right? Okay, let's look at some other Chanel bags. Oh, God, my Chanel rainbow issue just dropped. Got to, got to, got to, got. Are you okay, baby? Okay, let's get to this one. I, I just put you down here now in a second. Oh, my heart. <laughs> this baby I'm so, so careful with, but we get into that. So first of all, let's talk about this beautiful Chanel boy bag. This is the old medium size again. Um, and so to be honest, this is a bag you have to be really, really careful with. I mean, we all know it, you know, if you go for a Chanel bag in lambskin leather, especially the lambskin leather from the recent years, you know, that's not like a vintage bag. You have to be careful with your bag. You see scratches, marks so, so easily. And baby, my bags, you guys know it. I love my bag so, so much. Um, yeah, so I, this is my first ever Chanel bag. My first ever, I got this in 2015. Um, and yeah, that was, you know, the highlight at the time. I was like, oh my god, I finally own my first Chanel bag. And I think what a great pick for it. However, I didn't know at the time that I had to be so, so careful. So it is still in pristine condition um, because I am very careful, but it's, it's, quite, it's quite a headache, let's say, taking this bag out with you because um, you have to be, you know, your eyes need to be everywhere. You need to be aware of your surroundings. Um, so it's it's just 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 some words of warning um, in case you're thinking of going for a lambskin Chanel bag. Now now it's our time. Now it's our time. Did you want more attention, baby? When you were like, okay, I'm gonna fool off the bed now because you're not paying me enough attention. <laughs> okay, so here we have her. <gasps> Every time I see her, it, it's so, so sad. It never comes across properly. Um, but maybe, you know, the videos that I took um, with my phone, the modeling shots, you can see the beauty a bit more clearly, a bit more of how it looks like in reality. I think the ring light always makes it look a little bit off. This is a, pr a prized possession. Let's call it that. It is a very prized possession. Um, I, I was so sure. You know, that this, this was from a TDR collection 2020, so I was so sure at the time I would not get my hands on one. However, Rocio, my um, SA from the Selfridges Chanel Boutique, she's the best. <laughs> um, shout out to her. So she was able to hold me this and when she brought it out I was so so worried because I didn't want one that's entirely pink, you know. I wanted one that shows the rainbow effects properly and I think you get what I mean. This one absolutely does. And, oh, you know, when she brought it out, I was like, yes, thank you so, 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 so much. Because um, they are hard to come by with, especially, you know, in a variety of colors like this. Okay, guys, so I have no idea how long this video is gonna be in the end. Nonetheless, I hope you're gonna enjoy it. This is like the highlight of the year, right? So let's go on with the Lady Dior in the large size. And again, like, I think it looks a lot better um, on my phone because you can see the real colors. I always say it, it is not this dark. It is not such a dark blue purple. It's a very warm red, reddish purple. It's the ring light that is absolutely changing the colors here. Um, but I hope that the little video gives you an idea of how this beauty looks like. Okay, so, um, yeah, what can I say? It's a gorgeous bag. It's such a gorgeous piece. I love it. It's patent leather. Again, no worries, you know. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so let me grab this one next. This is the Lady Dior in the mini size um, and it's the color Lotus Pearl. I think it's a classic color by now. I think you can always get it just like a black. Um, it's, you know, one of their 
uh, signature colors and I love it. I especially love the strap that comes with it. I think it is art. It is a necklace for the bag basically. Um, this is champagne gold hardware, whereas this is rich gold. It's probably really difficult to see. I'll show you some other examples later. Um, okay, so let's get a close-up shot of this baby too. Can you see it? Oh, and let me warn you. So if you buy a bag like this, um, the colors, even though it's called Lotus Pearl, like every batch that comes out basically, every batch that gets produced looks different. So, you know, I just want to tell you that so that you know that you have to be aware to wait basically whoop, until your perfect, you know, shade of Lotus Pearl comes out. Let's talk about, let's talk about this one next. This is the classic Lady Dior um, and everybody knows it. It's the model that came out in 1994. It was originally called the Shushu Bag because um, it was given to Lady Diana then and therefore get, got its name Lady Dior. Um, so this one I had restored. Um, I always recommend the Dior Spa. They do an amazing job. Um, I got the... It, it, originally it had the real gold plated hardware but it was so scratched up so that I got the gold metal hardware. And let me tell you, I don't know what it is about vintage bags. We're gonna look at my vintage Chanel Classic Flap later on as well. You know, they tell a story. They have seen a lot probably in their life and I absolutely love to have classic classics, like the most classic bags <laughs> in the universe of bags. Uh, I love to get them vintage simply because the quality is a lot better and secondly because, you know, they tell a story and that is quite beautiful if you ask me. So yeah, this is my medium, this is the medium size, the classic medium that was given to Lady Diana. And here we have another large Lady Dior. And let me tell you, so this is the Royal Python Lady Dior. I saw this one in the Karibé in Berlin uh, when I was 15. And I was like, oh mom, this is the most beautiful bag I've ever seen. And she was like, you know, <laughs> of course that was far, far away. Um, you know, I was far, far away from ever owning such a beautiful luxury bag. But hey, you know, now I made it happen. And she is mine and she's gorgeous. So currently they are only making these bags in the mini sizes, you know, the Royal Python one. So you do sometimes still see them. When I walk through Harris and I film my vlogs, I do see them, um, but only in the, in the mini size. Okay, so is it time for some Louis Vuitton? I think so. So here we have my very special and rare Louis Vuitton Artsy with the beautiful Python handle. I think they only made don't ask me. There was a thing, my SA at the time, they were made in 2017, and my SA at the time told me that they only made 10 of these, plus a couple of Ayer snake handle bags for California, because it's not allowed to sell Python in California. Um, uh, but then I heard somewhere that they made 15 of these with the original Python handle, and another 5 or so for California again. No, no matter what's right, <laughs> I think there's only a very limited amount of these bags. And yeah, it is so, so gorgeous. And can we, oh, oh the bags are in the way, can we see how symmetrical this handle is in terms of, you know, oh, it is, it is gorgeous. I love it. This is a very casual piece, but I absolutely love it. Yeah, okay, so next up is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And this is a very special piece, we know that. This is the Louis Vuitton World Tour. But first of all, let me tell you, so this is my traveling pack, okay? So, <laughs> um, I have a Samorga bag organizer in there. Um, of course, you have the little pochette, we're gonna look at that in a second. But I also have my Nano Speedy in here. Uh, let's talk about this one first. So, my beloved little Nano Speedy. Um, at some point I was thinking of selling it because um, I felt like I had too much monogram canvas in my collection. Um, I did sell about eight bags this year. Most of them were monogram canvas. Um, however, when I have to travel, the best combination that you can pick believe me, is the Nano Speedy and the Neverfull. You know, no matter where you go, you basically have one bag that you can travel with, you know, the Neverfull for, for the airplane and everything. And if you need to, you know, go somewhere and you need to take your jacket in the evening, whatever, you can put it all in, it's amazing. But then if you only need to, if you go on like an adventure kind of holiday, when we went to Tenerife, you know, and we go hiking, 
this is the ideal bag. Um, I even took it to the desert, to a desert trip in Dubai. Um, so this baby is the ideal bag, you know, to, it can fit so much. It can fit an umbrella, your brush, your passports, your phone, a battery, you know, a charger basically, cables. It, it, it's a little Mary Poppins bag and so I have decided to keep her. Um, yeah, let's talk about the Neverfull. Um, so I love the look of this as well and I think, yes, Everybody has this bag and everybody wears it and you see it a million times if you go down Bond Street or Oxford Street in London. But there is a reason why everybody loves this bag. It is so, so comfortable. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so I can only recommend it for anybody who's looking for, you know, a nice casual tote. There's a reason why everybody loves these bags. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Louis Vuitton World Tour. Um, model. I only picked one sticker because, you know, I wanted the Neverfull to have a tiny little bit of, you know, something extra. <laughs> um, I wanted it to be a bit special, but I also still wanted it to be classic. And I love this little sticker. What can I say? Okay, shall we talk about my obsession with flowers next and like floral prints and stuff like that? So this is Oh, such a highlight of my collection as well. Um, let me give you a close-up shot first. So this is the Chanel 31 bag um, in the medium size and I saw that on a picture. Um, I don't even know who it was, um, another influencer and they were wearing it um, to the one of the Chanel shows for Paris Fashion Week and I saw it and I was like oh my this is the most gorgeous Chanel 31 bag I've ever seen. I tried to fall in love with a classic black one, let me tell you, couldn't do it. So I was hunting this for so, so long. They come in like a canvasy material as well. So I definitely wanted to have the patent leather version because I love the shininess, you know, of it. Luckily, on an Italian reseller website, this baby popped up. Um, in the past. And I was like, click, buy, done. <laughs> I don't want to ever, you know, look for this one again. It's so I know how rare it is. It never pops up anywhere. And oh, I love it. Floral. Let's talk about my obsession with floral prints. So this is my beautiful Gucci Marmont. And yes, I think there's a heated debate, you know, all over YouTube, whether those bags are still in or out or I don't care. I think nobody should care, you know? If you like something, you like it. Wear it, wear it when you're 80, wear it when you're 100. You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so this beauty, um, I, first of all, I absolutely love the color of the velvet, of course. It is so mesmerizing, it is so, so vibrant. Um, and then, of course, when I saw this version with the flowers on top, I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's the one. Um, it has this beautiful chain as well. By the way, I do stuff all my bags, so, you know, it's important, people. Stuff your bags. Don't put them on the floor, stuff them. Keep them in beautiful condition for as long as you can. They are worth it. So that's the beautiful chain that goes with it. Stunning, isn't it? I love it. I had the original one once. Um, if you've been following me from the very beginning, like 18 months ago, so when I started YouTube, I had the, you know, the purple, what's it called? Ruben Velvet Classic Marmont. But then when I saw this one with the flowers on Fashion Fire, actually, I was like, okay, I'm gonna sell my original one and I get this one cause this is so much more me. And I still love it a lot to this day. Next floral obsession. So this is a travel bag, an amazing travel bag as well. This is my Fanny Peekaboo in the large size. Uh, this is the biggest size Fanny Peekaboo comes in. It is gorgeous. It is absolutely can we see? Oh, it is it's so, so stunning. So it does actually come with a strap as well, um, which I have attached um, in the video of the modeling shots as well. And it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous little olive color. Can we see that? No. Oh. Whoops, nine. The camera doesn't want to focus, but you get it. Um, so gorgeous, I love it. Um, with this one as well, you have to stuff it. You know, I have proper bubble wrap in there because it's a fabric bag. Fabric bags need a lot of support to keep their shape. Um, yeah, what a gorgeous piece, right? Uh, I think somebody last year said, oh my God, what a grandma bag. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, I will one day be a grandma and then I can still carry it. This gorgeous little baby is one of my recent additions and I have fallen in love with it like a year ago. I think I saw it in Dubai for the very first time, yes. 
and it is so me it is you know this black lacy thing with floral prints as well or floral embroidery or whatever you want to call this paisley is a pace is the paisley i think somebody said it's a paisley so um yeah i love this i think this is very me you know with all my black outfits i think this goes phenomenally well together let me know what you think um i am so happy i was literally thinking about thinking about it probably for 10 months or so um, if I should get it, because it is expensive, let me tell you, it costs as much as a Chanel bag and they cost like a million pounds nowadays. Um, so it was quite expensive, um, but I've decided to go for it because, you know, if you would find this in the pre-loved market, I mean, first of all, that's going to be rare and difficult, but then I think, you know, it would have a lot of wear and tear. You need to be careful with these bags. So that is my second Fendi Peekaboo. Let's look at some more Bulgari eye candy. I'm so happy that so many of you actually, you know, are falling more and more in love with Bulgari as well, because I get so many messages on Instagram every single day from all around the world, you know, from the Philippines, from California from Peru, from I don't know where, everywhere literally in the world and people are writing me and showing me their Bulgari purchases and that they only, you know, discovered the brand because of me. So <laughs> I'm, I'm always so, so happy when I get these little messages. Okay, so this is my beautiful Bulgari Marika Transu collaboration bag and let me give you another close up. Wow. The handle. The, I mean, let, let's talk about like bags with special handles later on. Um, this gorgeous piece, um, I I saw, I fell in love with it and I was like, that is me in a bag. That is so me in a bag. There's no other bag. There's more me, <laughs> basically, um, because I'm a Slytherin. I'm a nerd. I always say that, you know, I love Harry Potter. I've grown up with Harry Potter. And yeah, Slytherin, hashtag Slytherin pride. <laughs> so this bag just gives me a certain vibe and I, I absolutely love it. It does come with a with another strap that you can attach, but I would not do that. I mean, the handle is the one thing, you know, that makes this bag stand out. Let's talk about, okay, can, can we even see it? Because the ring light is so... Okay, let me bring it closer to you. There we go. This is the Bulgari Serpenti Forever in the mini size. And it's a crossbody bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is real gold plated, real gold plated Karung skin. Karung skin is a water snake. Um, so yes, it is an exotic bag. Um, however, you do not have to worry about it. If you have, you know, the Royal Python Lady Dior or another like Python bag, you need to be careful especially with rain, the scales like to lift. This doesn't happen with um, water, water snake, karung skin bags. So they are very, very durable, um, absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, what, what can we, what can we say? So this is, by the way, um, this is the original archived heritage Bulgari clasp that they brought back, that they reissued, basically. Um, love this one, love this one. A lot. Okay guys, so I just had to grab some bags from the back. <laughs> um, and next one is this beauty. And this is my Chanel CC Toad. This is a reissued version of the vintage Chanel CC Toad that came out like in the 90s. When I saw that they bring this back out, I was like, oh my god, I need to make sure that I get this, you know. Um, I always wanted to have the vintage version. I really, really wanted to have the vintage version of this. And I, yeah, I was happy, you know, that they reissued. I actually like this leather a lot more. This like wrinkled, aged looking, um, beautiful glaze, you know, it's glazed beautifully. I, I just love it. I fell in love with it from the moment I saw it. And I was like, yep, yeah, we have to get this. It's a beautiful tote. It's a great alternative to the Neverfull if you want, you know, something that's not monogram. Then let's talk about this little beauty. Um, this is the Chanel Coco Handle in the mini size. Well, again, Chanel and their sizing, okay? They change the names all the time and nobody really, you know, has any clue anymore what's going on, what's going on basically. This one was, when I bought it, still called the mini size. Um, however, now they brought out a mini, mini, an extra mini size, but now that one is called the mini and this one's called the small. Um, I love it. This one is such a beautiful champagne gold color and the strap that comes with it is just gorgeous. 
you know, a stunning, stunning, stunning piece. I could not have asked for a more beautiful color. Okay, guys, so please say hello, everyone, to this beauty. This is the oldest bag in my collection, and it is as old as I am. <laughs> Okay, um, this one is the Chanel Classic Flap, you know, vintage Chanel Classic Flap, double flap, in the medium size, um, you know, double flap bag, uh, in the medium size with a beautiful, you know, burgundy red interior, stuffed as well, um, and I always wanted, it was the dream of mine to have a classic Chanel bag from the year of my, from the year I was born, from, from my year of birth. And it is difficult, you know, you have to hunt, you have to stalk the pre-loved market to find a bag that is in great condition, that you can still, you know, pay for, because, like I said, they cost like a million pounds now. Um, and, yeah, I, I was waiting for quite a while, but then one day, on Fashion File, I saw, I was on the phone, like, at midnight, trying to fall asleep, and then I saw her, and I was like, oh, I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> so this is the beauty. This is the real gold plated hardware. You won't find this anymore nowadays. Nowadays we only get cheap gold metal hardware that scratches in like, you know, two days. And it is sad. Um, but hey, maybe they wake up one day and improve their quality again. This is lambskin, people. This is lambskin. You know, that survived like 31 years now. How crazy is this? Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like my boy back won't look like that in 25 years, you know, so. This is the Bulgari um, cabochon bag, um, the Serpenti cabochon bag. They brought this beauty out recently and it is of course a very modern, you know, style. Their classic Serpenti, let me show you that, their classic Serpenti forever. Um, is a little bit more timeless, of course, so we have to take that into consideration no matter what. Um, however, I am absolutely in love with this. Um, of course, you know, if you don't like the thick strap, you can just attach um, a thinner one. I love to actually wear it with the strap of my Black Lady Dior. It looks great. Um, so, gorgeous bag. Um, got the strap inside. And yeah, so this one comes with, first of all, it's a gorgeous color, right? Can we appreciate the color a little bit? So this one comes with pink mother of pearl, the little scales that you can see on top of the heritage class. And let me tell you, no matter what kind of color you choose for your Serpenti Cabochon bag, they all come with little um, gemstones on top. So the green, the green bags would have malachite, you know, the black one has onyx stones. Um, it, it's just incredible. The, the white one comes with the regular like white mother of pearl. Pink mother of pearl is a little bit more rare actually than white mother of pearl. And then of course I fell in love with the mini. Is it called extra mini or mini? I'm not quite sure. With the mini version of the Serpenti Cabochon bag. And oh, you know, this is the mom and this is the baby bag basically. So oh, let me tell you, I spotted this on the website before I saw it in the boutique and I was like telling Dina about it. I was like, oh Dina, you really need to make sure, you know, that you reserve this one for me because we wanted to film the mini bags anyway and I was like, this, my heart is set, like this is so me. I need this plus, like this is my first like actual mini mini bag, I think, you know. Um, this is the tiniest bag ever, of course, you know, it doesn't hold that much. Um, I actually got a watch in here, <laughs> I just noticed. Got a watch in here to make it uh, heavier so that the bag stands up straight. Um, and I think it looks so, so gorgeous. You can put cards in here, lipstick, keys, tiny little round brush, you know, even fits in here. But I, I, I just love how it looks. I absolutely love how it looks. Okay, so next up, let's talk about my dumpling obsession. Like literally, I love dumplings, like the food. My cat is called Dumpling, and I also love these dumplings, <laughs> the Bottega dumplings. So this baby, oh, what a statement piece, right? I mean, I think they were, they had the biggest hype when everybody was wearing them to Paris Fashion Week as well. And of course, like we get bombarded by those images, you know, of how you can style those bags and how you can wear them. And I've just entirely fallen in love with it. Um, and yeah, I had to get it um, in this beautiful 
gold, uh, wrinkled gold leather, and it is a, it's like a it's like a metallic leather. So it's not a patent patent leather. It's a metallic leather. Um, again, this one if we open up, it's full with kitchen roll. <laughs> You know to keep it puffy and pristine and gorgeous so gorgeous bag I love just you know wearing it like this like a little baby under your arm <laughs> um, and then I because I fell so hard for this you know dumpling trend trend I also had to get the Bottega Veneta chain pouch um, and this color let me tell you it is again such a beautiful dark rich a mm. <laughs> uh, purple color that I absolutely was like stunned when I saw it for the first time. I was like, yep, that is me. That is my color. That's the color I need to get this bag in. I love how you can style it. Simply gorgeous. And yeah, so I love it. Absolutely, absolutely love this color. Again, in certain lights, it can look quite black. Um, but then you know if you have some light shine on it you see it's 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 true colors you see it's true colors this baby this is the newest addition who sorry <laughs> this is the newest addition to my handbag collection and this is my first ever Lovin bag Lovin? Lovin? yeah this is my first ever Lovin bag I think that's how you pronounce it <sighs> Again, a little bit of dust. Um, yeah, I love it. What a statement piece. What an artwork, right? If you haven't seen the unboxing video of this bag yet, please go and check it out. Um, it is... Wow, I saw it um, in a video. There's only one video. Well, now there are three. The original video, my unboxing and this handbag collection video. But originally, before I got this bag, there was only one video that I could find in the entire universe of... Um, YouTube that was featuring this beauty and I fell in love with it so hard I know Melissa Dera has like another version like a hobo style version of this bag but I fell so so in love with this beautiful pencil box style bag <laughs> so um, it comes with a strap as you can see but I I'm pretty sure I will only wear it like as a top handle bag um, simply because, you know, I don't think the strap goes so, so well with it. Um, but this bag, on its own, is such a beautiful piece. The way you open it is like, you know, it's like a magnetic closure. It's really, really pretty. And then you've got this beautiful inside. Okay, let me check. Um, did I? Was that everything? I think, I think we did everything. I think we did everything. So yeah, guys, this is my handbag collection. Now it doesn't look as beautiful anymore, like the setup that we had in the beginning, right? Okay, let me put this here. <laughs> okay, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Let's give her a little bit more attention. I don't want her to jump off the bed again. Um, yeah, we all do have the same luxury disease. And it is a disease. <laughs> but it's a beautiful one. Okay, guys. So, yeah. I think that's it. I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.